Hi, beautiful Cancer. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Cancer, this is your yearly uh, forecast for the entire year of 2024. I am a little bit late into January, but I still want to do all the months. I'm going to do... So whenever you hear this, is not, not really going to matter. Um, but I'm still going to do... Because you might hear this in June and then you missed the entire, you know, previous months. But if you listen to it right now when I post it, you missed the first part of January. But I'm still going to do like the very end of it. Or maybe just if you feel like, yeah, it resonates how it has been. So I'm going to use all the months anyway. And I already have put them. I've taken, which is most of the time, to just get the cards out on the table. So I already have all 12 months, like one card for each month on the table <clears throat> in front of me and I'm going to go through them and we're going to clarify them together so I've saved a little bit of time for you guys um I do apologize for the car that is doing something outside they're testing the <laughs> sound of the motor or something um and also I do apologize if I just found lately that um the when my energy when the energy gets going here and it gets a little bit too strong the technical stuff just doesn't catch up i've updated upgraded fixed the technical anything that i can do to sort of make that not be an issue and that's all sorted so it's not that so i do apologize if it starts to lag uh, i try we'll try to pause the video i've asked in advance for it to please please cooperate with me as much as possible um but I do apologize in, in advance because it's really annoying when the voice starts to lag to the to the picture. I understand that. Okay, this is going to be a shifting year for you, Cancer. No doubt. No doubt. So we're starting with the first month, January, that we have already come into the second half of. And this entire month has been about regrouping, taking a break going slow <clears throat> maybe even if you have felt cancer that you wanted to move faster it's just been one of those months where no this is not time for action it's not time for you know sprinting off starting new projects or do anything like that this is the time for to take a nap to sleep extra much to just take it easy and if you're single if like in terms of relationships it's also about like this is not a time to look for anyone this is not a time. I understand that come to this side of the year, maybe like the you want to start to date. Many, many apps are doing, you know, advertising now for to call people in. Um, it doesn't just, it seems to not be the right time to go on these dating apps right now. Uh, if you feel called to do so, please do so. Listen to your own voice, obviously. If you're already in a relationship, it's just, you know, a time to just be with your person hasn't doesn't have to be any lavish extraordinary extra things right now just to be with your person um same goes for projects same goes for like starting new businesses just to take it easy in january i'm just going to clarify this can we clarify january please for cancer wow the universe card I, I just adore this card so this card for me represents that not only is it not time to just be out there and take action and all of that this is a really good month and you probably have already felt this and for the rest of this month um a really good time to just really go inwards just be sort of a hermit and just meditate extra much rest extra much go into that um conversation with the universe conversation with your deeper inner self it's just a really beautiful time to 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 rest and take it easy and make that connection moving on to february we have chaos and conflict and it's 33 so it's not like i feel like it's going to come as quickly as like okay so if january was like a really slow moving month and it might even be like a preparation it might even be a preparation for February because February feels like just like that things kick started into understanding and if you feel like any sort of fear or like no what is this chaos and conflict I don't want that um, 
the, overall this year, I feel, will be anything that doesn't serve you anymore, anything that's like not for your highest good or not sort of in alignment with your actual truth can sort of stay. They just, it just can't stick around anymore or you can't stick around anymore. So wherever there's a, wherever there's an initial, like this might not be completely in alignment with who you are. February seems to be, obviously this is a general read still and we're doing month by month. It's like a, such a broad message. So this is like the, a general feel for, for February. Obviously not every single day is going to be like this, but the feel of it. Um, so it is about looking at what doesn't fit anymore, where you're trying to, um, it can be a little bit about trying to sort of stand your ground, but maybe more so about being right than being happy, as Abraham would say. <laughs> like, are you interested in feeling uh, good or are you interested in being right in this conversation? Most people answer, I would rather be right. And I would take this to my grave. You know, it's time to, if you're in a relationship and you have bump, bumped up, if this is a friendship, a romantic partnership, family member, coworker, whatever, whatever type of relationship this is, and you're sort of coming into a conflict with someone to try to just take the highway and look at what makes you feel good than rather what to sort of stick it to the truth, you know? And the same thing, it can be just about stripping things away. If you're in a, in a job related situation, it's going to be noted that if you have sort of, if you have sort of like just, you stood the test of time, sort of, you didn't really want to be there. But come February of this year, it's like if you're not supposed to be there, there's going to be things that are just so in your face, you're going to want to just drop it. You're just going to want to not be there anymore. And, and yeah. Can we clarify this chaos and conflict, please, for cancer? And I do apologize that I look a little, if you listen to this in the summer and I have a hat on, <laughs> it's a little bit chilly in my apartment because I still have really cold here in Sweden. Chaos and conflict. What do we have for cancer, please? Wow, I love this. So do you see what I mean? So then the sun comes out. So the sun is the highest possible, like the happiest card, the most joyful, the, the card that speaks most about like there's going to be joy at the end of this, that this is where you want to go to cancer. Like you want to reach where you feel the most authentic, where you feel the most joyful, where you feel the most drive and like just authenticity in your life. And anything, anything that just doesn't match that is just going to come into a way stronger opposition with someone else, something else, the situations around you. So even if it feels a little bit scary, like, oh, what is that? What is that about? Like, you, it will be really clear when you get there, okay? And it's for the it's for the highest good. It's for the betterment of you. It's for the betterment of them, or it, you know. That was January, February, and then come March. There's something in March that is just inspiring you to really start to. So if this conflict, if this February month has started to really question everything and everyone in your life, like you really are starting to take a hard look at yourself this is what life is causing you to do right now to just really this has come to the edge and it's asking you to fully look at yourself fully look at your relationships fully look at your um job related situation like whatever your life and for instance if this is a relationship situation and you're with someone or 
you're single and you want to meet someone, the scariest thing can to can be to just truly, truly be fully open and allow them to see your ugly sides, your not so beautiful sides, you know, and to fully let someone in. And you might already have been with someone for a long time and you say, no, we're really close and we're there's always another layer that you can be so much more authentic in. And if this is a job related situation, uh, the month of March is going to really inspire you to, it is sort of taking a leap of faith. It's the unknown. It's the, if you've been thinking about starting a business or thinking about making a move or thinking about um, anything that is like, but I don't know where we're going to end up. Like, unknown is your friend and just make unknown your friend for the month of March because it's going to ask you to sort of step out of your comfort zone and really look at your life and if there's like if you're really inspired to move somewhere like to just go for it can we clarify the month of March please <clears throat> clarify the month of March way too many cards please just one or two cards come to the edge can we clarify that please so one or two cards for cancer month of march thank you wow triumph it just really wants to um validate you and it wants to like confirm that like we got you like you it's safe to open up it's safe to take the leap. It's safe to get yourself onto, uh, into the unknown because we got you. There's going to be triumph at the end of this. It's, it's a lot. January seems to just be the calmest one. And then February and March seems to be more like asking you to really take a hard look at what doesn't work and to go for what really inspires you. And you're going to end up with a triumph there. It's going to be a successful leap. And if this is like, to get yourself back in the game of dating or like to start to see someone again. Like if you, it's about opening up. It's, it's going to be a success if you start to really open up and really also ask like, what is the truth for you? What, what is the, how does it look when it feels really right for you? Whether it's relationship, work related situations, just life in general. Uh, then come May. So May, you know, you know if February, March. No, I knew it was wrong. <laughs> then come April, if I can count. You know if February, March, April. Uh, April. So in April, it seems like if you have any type of, like, are, if you're being hesitant or like, am I making the right choice? Am I making the wrong choice? Should I get on board with this relationship? Should I get out of this relationship? Should I get on board with this um, work-related situation? Should I not do that? Should I... The not for you card is sort of... You probably have felt this sometime. If you... It feels like if you go after something and it doesn't sort of really matter, like you put all your eggs in a basket, you put all the cards on the table, <laughs> to use metaphors, you try as best as you possibly can, to, to attain something or to achieve something or to make something happen and it just doesn't like whatever you're trying it just it just won't happen it's almost like you you're you're just the observer and you and you just <coughs> look in at the situation thinking what is this like I'm doing everything in my power and nothing and if it's that obvious that it's just not moving in any direction, you feel like, well, I knew what I could do differently for it to happen. You really are doing everything that you can, putting you in the best position, you know, all of that and nothing. Then you can just know that that is, you know, that expression, um, rejection is God, God's protection and redirection. So it's like, it is just not for you. So if you're going for, for a job or if like April is the, you're wanting to take that leap of faith and you're wanting to get yourself on, out into the unknown. And then in comes April and you're really trying all of these different things. There's just no, 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 or dead end or no, this is not going to happen. 
or you even try to do something, even if you don't feel called to it, there's a, like a hard no, and you sort of go for it anyway, it's probably going to end up in failure because it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to happen to begin with. Then sort of don't feel defeat too much because like failure is always another learning curve, right? And this is a time to really listen to where it's a hard no and where it's a yes. Just because it's a hard no doesn't mean that there's no yeses out there. If there's a hard no, it's an actual very clear yes. But it might, it might, you know, challenge you a little bit to think, like if you thought so strongly that this was the place for you, or you thought so strongly that this was the relationship for you, or you, like you just knew that like this is what I wanted to do, you might be running on comfortable comfortability you might be running on comfort zone and like where you feel the most in control and like this is what it has looked like before and it's just not for you anymore and you're being sort of challenged to move out of that situation it might it might be a little bit tough to challenge that control and challenge that comfort zone for you but just know that it's for your it's for your protection really can we um so april is really gonna it's gonna be a really obvious thing what is what is good for you and what isn't april can we clarify april please for cancer there you go look at this i love how this is just showing we have the like a, as a <laughs> as clarifiers you know it's like it's there's a lot of things going on underneath and cracking up and like this is being removed and this is being shown what really is the truth for you beautiful sun is coming in but it's messing a little bit with that so i'm just doing this um but to explain it we have the universe on top there and then we have the happiest card in the deck the sun and then we have triumph for march and then we have ace of gabriel so ace of gabriel is about um really stepping into yourself and your own authentic version this is about an opportunity this is about when you feel really passionate about something so where there's a hard no is going to really i just feel like it's going to really steer you in the di direction of what you where you need to be and what you need to have more of in your life it's going to be a very in your face clear month april is going to sort of sort out the bad from the good then we have the month of may and in may i don't want to say that her, that there has been turmoil up until may but <laughs> may seems to be the the month where you really <clears throat> will start to relax and do what you could do initially anyway to just make that connection with your inner being to just come home within yourself, to really ask those questions like where, where do I feel the most at home? Where do I feel the most comfort? Where do I feel the most safe? Where do I feel the most me? Can we clarify <clears throat> no place like home? That's for the month of May. It's like a coming back home to yourself in the month of May. You might start to really do another meditation practice or yoga practice or something that just brings you more into center may can we clap intuition look at that this is when it's like okay so now when there's a hard no or there's a hard yes like you're really being shown the door as like the door closed or you're being shown another window for a window of opportunity things are opening up like this is a month may is a month of contemplation really listening to your gut feeling really following that like you just it just feels like you, you inevitably will feel drawn to just go into that place of like okay what is true where's home what do i want and just really listen so may is like a it doesn't mean that things slow down or that there's no action in may it's just a big contemplation month i feel May is a good, like before the summer, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, or just before the winter. It's a good month to just really connect and listen. 
we should really connect and listen all the time. But May, for some reason, you know, will bring that about. Then in June, clean it up, number 21. This is my, I call it my vibration card. Obviously, all cards is are vibration cards. <laughs> but clean it up is about raising your vibration. So we come from May, where you have gone more inwards, wanting to know where home is, wanting to know where you feel most like yourself. So when it's, it's a good metaphor to think of yourself as the more light and bright than you become, the more in alignment with yourself, the more at home within yourself that you feel, the brighter, the shinier you're going to be. And the brighter and shinier that you'll be, the more you light up whatever is around you. And so things that you haven't even seen, things that like if you go down in the basement and it's really dark and you turn the, the torch or the flashlight on, it's quite obvious what's there. And so it's the same in your life. It's the same in your relationships, in your work, in your just overall life. The month of June will require for you to then, okay, so this is really me. Again, it's about, so what is not you? And that needs to be cleaned out. And that might sound a little bit like, am I going to just throw people out of my life left and right? Or like, it's not throwing anyone throwing anyone out of your life like that. But it's, it is... Um, it is time to sort out what fits in your life and what doesn't. And, and it feels like all the months prior to this has sort of led up to this, to the June month where it's becoming really clear. Like this can even be like a, it's in June, but it's just like a spring cleaning or like a, we're looking at a situation from, well, can I continue to have this relationship in my life and continue to make this climb and come home to myself? If it's a, Sorry, if it's a yes, it's a keeper. If it's a no, well, we need to readjust this situation. It might even have to go. And that's what you're doing, mainly for the month of June. It's like, it's going to be, a, and, and sometimes life just shows you what needs to be done, or they show themselves out of the door. Can we clarify, clean it up, please? Clean it up. For month of June, yeah, there's a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all details. So this is so much like just showing you another path. Like this is what I mean. Like it's going to be, it's going to be so obvious to you what you can keep and what you can't and it's going to show you it's going to show you where you need to go you're being literally shown a new path a new road a new way whatever fits with the new you you're being shown that new path by michael in the month of june again listen to that intuition listen to where you're being guided dare to follow the guidance and come August is really no different. Uh, like, like this is an entire year, it feels like, of shedding what doesn't fit your truth. So August is like taking a hard look at, what, okay, so what is superficial here? What doesn't fit anymore? What is something that I took on just because my mother said so, just because my father said so, just so that I would fit better into this environment? so that I could fit better into my community, into my church, who's ever in a religion, you know, whatever has been put upon you, that it, that actually isn't you. August, it seems then to be a month of like, more of shedding of the things that just isn't authentically you. And because we have 16 there, and I'm drawn to 16, and 16 numerology-wise, it's, it's about sudden shift and sudden changes, can mean that something feels a little bit sudden. It can feel like it comes a little bit like a surprise, that you thought you were going down one path, or you thought you're, you're being with this relationship or being with this situation, and all of a sudden, really quickly, you're being shown something different. You thought it was something, and then it was something else. And so there might be fast changes as well. So can we please clarify all that glitters? 
all the glitters for um, August. August, please. I mean, you just continue to, I think it's just a message here from your guides or from source just really wants you to understand that even if it feels a little bit like, ooh, is there chaos and conflict and that's not going to be for me and I should take a leap of faith into the unknown and and I'm being sh like st stripped away of certain things or certain people and I'm being shown a new path, like it feels like, oh, but then constantly they're just reassuring you that where you're going... <laughs> Where you're going is so much better. Victory and success. So for the for the case of or for the reason of being stripped away of, of all that glitters, all that glitters isn't gold. You know, that expression. All that was all that looks good on the surface, but it doesn't fit you, or all that you thought that you were or thought that you wanted, you actually didn't. So when it comes down to it and you take you take a hard look at it and life is just going to inspire you to do that for the entire year of 2024 what, where you end up when you do that stripping away of things or or sides to yourself or just come into a way more authentic side to yourself is victory and success like it's where you feel the most authentic is where you feel the most is where you will draw the most you know abundance and success to you so it's for the sake of betterment all, all the time. They're just reassuring you. It's for the sake of betterment. It's for the sake of coming to a better place. So August, yeah. And then September seems to be the month where things, like for the first time, you're sort of really asked to take action where there's not that many obstacles left. There's not like you cleared it up. <laughs> You cleaned it out, you cleared it up, you been through it. And it's it's time for action. It's time for, to really like put into motion. This can even be like if you're interested in someone, you can you're the one to like make the first move, whether you're a woman or a man. Um, if you're interested in a job, like to not be afraid to go go after it. If it's like, should we expand in your already you know, job position for sure, for sure. Uh, if you're already in a relationship, this is when things really, it's just going to feel like there's a lot of things happening that is good. That is good. It's number one, it's a, it feels like a restart in September for you. Um, can we clarify the month of September, please? We can't, I mean, my God. It's, you know, it's not the universe card. It's a traditional tarot. This is actually the world card. But that is also talking about like leaving, ending like that entire chapter, entire era. This is a new era, pun intended. And just step into this new where you're, you're like, it's really highlighted, connected to your source, connected to your inner being, knowing where you're like, it's a clear path. The messages are clear. Um, it's all about creativity and moving forward with no obstacles. I'm not saying there couldn't be any bumps or any, you know, but it's just going to be meh because where you come from. You know, this is easy peasy. This is like, you feel like you're finally on the right track. Things are looking good. Things are looking up. And it's just a brand new start in many ways because we have one, one there, one clarifying one. Numerology wise. So September, action month, change. No, no seemingly big obstacles. It's just like a full steam ahead. And then come October, <clears throat> and October is like, so you probably really kickstarted something in September because October is the thinker. 
and it's 44. It's not a master number. We add those up to, to number eight. Uh, but still, it's like a big foundation, new foundation, um, feeling in your heart where you're going, building blocks, like we're building something solid here and adding those up. We have number, number eight, the most powerful number, power, creativity, endless opportunities, money, abundance, courage, bravery. You know, it's like, yeah. And the thinker is about this is a month, October is a month, this might even, I just feel almost even a little bit overwhelmed. So you might have kickstarted something in September that really gets things going in where you want it to go. And so the month of October is about making lists, structure, structure, you need a Virgo right now, like you need Virgo to step in and just make, uh, make lists and lists of what you want, like lists are your friend in October structure things up, make a plan. Um, yeah, just really, really structure your life right now. That's going to be the biggest help in October due to everything that's going on. And it's good things going on around you. This is like saying, I'm not saying this. I'm just <laughs> as a metaphor, if you just won the lottery and you hit the jackpot for like gazillion thousand and thousand monies, the next month, you might want to organize that a little bit. You might want to see where you want to put all the money, how you're going to spend some of the money, where you're going to save some of the money, you know, or if this is like um, you're, you're kickstarting something in a business and it just takes off, then you need structure so that you don't get fully overwhelmed. But it's good, it's good to have to have that structure, right? Okay, so... <clears throat> Can we clarify the month of October, please? Clarify October. Another February, March, April, May, June. Said the wrong thing i'm so sorry I, I might have not said the wrong thing before and you might know exactly where i am and you're like oh you're saying it wrong again <laughs> but we have that all the glitters is july did i say august there i probably did come july i'm so sorry cancer july we have that shedding of what you know what isn't you? And then August. <clears throat> August is the action month, not September. August is the where things gets going. I do apologize, Cancer. August. And then September is the thinker. September is when it's time to make those lists and just be almost very logical about things, like how we need to sort things out that you kickstarted in August. So the big shedding of things is in July. We have the, the creative force, the, the young, the masculine, this, the structure, the, the moving forward with no obstacles, basically, backed up by the universe, leaving all the old crap behind and just really stepping into something new. That's August. September is when we plan. You plan, you organize you structure things up because you need to due to this whatever you started in august <clears throat> we're clarifying september here now and i i put all of these cards on the table before and i was clear about what it was so you're not going to get the wrong message for the wrong month i'm just saying it wrong now September. Wow. September is a is when you I want to say where, where you level things out where um, it's a Libra card. It's a truth card. It's about karma returning. It's about justice turning out in your favor. It's about um, where things have been like 
So for instance, if you haven't been able to pay certain things for a long time, now, you know, September due to August, September is going to allow for you to pay back certain places, or this is when someone else is paying you back, or it's when things are leveling out, if that makes sense. In the month of September, whatever you're planning, structuring, organizing there is going to really help you balance things in your life. You're creating a beautiful balance. And if this is around work, this, this is, you know, this is life. So it can be in relationships, it can be around anything. So it's not, it sounds like I'm talking a little bit more about work, but obviously if this is around relationships, you're going to start to feel like there's a balance there. Okay. So there's a big balancing month in September. <laughs> it's also like an upgrade of yourself, like a 2.0 version of cancer that is taking a place, taking place in September. Then October, I'm on the right track now. I'm on the right month. October, a change in the wind. And you might go, oh, I can't take any more change. I feel like October is a month where you like, it's almost like a final question. There's never going to be a final question. There's always going to be more questions, but it feels a little bit like a final question. Oh, like, okay, cancer. So now you, you have more come home in yourself. You've been shown new, a new path. You've been stripping away things that is just, it just isn't you. It doesn't belong to you. That's not the version you want to carry around anymore. Those are not the people you want to continue with in your life, or these are the people that are coming in instead. Like what is authentic? What is authentic? What is authentic? What is real and honest? And this is a time where it's sort of like a final ask, although it isn't, to let go of, so we have the zebra, right? And it represents the black and white, but nothing is ever black and white. We have the change in the wind anyway. Even though we, we want to typically stay in a very safe environment, I've been with this person for 20 years or 10 years. I've been at this company for five years now. I know what I have. I know what I'll get, you know, but it doesn't really do it for you. And this is a time that sort of the universe really asks you to let go of that or the person, even if it's a safe card, even if it's, it feels safe, it won't be safe in the long run because you're shifting. You're, and if you could see November and December here, like you'll be so happy. It's asking you to really shed, even if it feels a little bit scary, to let go of the things that feels comfortable. Just because they're comfortable doesn't mean that it's right. I'm going to say that again. Just because it's comfortable doesn't mean that it's right. And just because you invested a lot of things doesn't mean that it's the right thing. And I say this quite often, a lot of people mistake in love, investment for love. Or a lot of people in, uh, confuse being at the right place because they put so much time into it. But because you put, put time into something or just because you put investment or money or, or your soul into something, just because time wise you put so much into it doesn't mean that it's necessarily right any longer and so it's asking you to look at look at that like okay am I here because it's comfortable or am I here because I'm supposed to be here can we clarify a change in the wind no I want the other deck still can I clarify a change in the wind so that is Juli, August, September, October <laughs> October Clarifying October and the change. I just feel like because you're you're so honest with yourself this year and you so come to like to the core of who you are, what is the truth of you? Things really get going in the month of August, month of August, 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 um, and really gets kick started. So come then September and then October, then October, like it's almost like you're forcing yourself 
to then, okay, I kickstarted all of this. I'm as authentic as a person can be. And so now I'm asking myself to, to sort of have the final drop of the things or the people that just doesn't work in my life anymore. And it's always for the better. It's always to reach a better place. Clarifying October, please. Yep. Same thing here. It's asking you to stay in your integrity. It's asking you to, this is a little bit also about, you know, the, what we said before, would you rather be, feel good or do you want to be right? Do you rather want to hang on to something because you've been there before? Or do you want to go somewhere new where, that fits your now truth better? This is standing your ground. This is, this is speaking your truth. This is being the most authentic version of yourself. Is your authority version of yourself. It's the integrity. It's who you are. It's asking you to like really disdain your integrity and choose what feels the most authentic to you. And then not continue to argue to be right but to let something go if it needs to be let go for, so, so you can come into like a peaceful place. That's October. Then November is the higher power. November is the month where you're really going to make that like an actual real connection. It might be that you're being blown open in a different way because you've searched for the truth and for your authenticity so like in the entire year of 2024. You're coming into like next level higher power, next level connection with source. This is when you truly, truly make that um, deep, deep connection with your inner being, with your higher power, with your source, with, your, with the universe, whatever you want to, want to call it. And is asking you to make this relationship the most important one. It's important with your work. It's important with your partners. It's important with your relationships, whether it's children, parents, friends, you know, those are important but the most important relationship you have is the one with yourself and source is really asking you in november to just make that connection more clearly i even feel like a blown open feel here like something shifting you might even like come into more psychic awareness like more gifts are being known to you you may figure out they like, wow, I'm a, I'm a profound healer or I can really see into the future or I'm like things you, you might have known it, but, but it's so natural to you that you haven't really thought about it. And then something sort of blows you open in a way that you really understand like, oh, wow, this is sort of almost like a superpower <laughs> that you're going to get, get aware of. Can we clarify this higher power, please? I just feel like the month of November is a really profound. Talk about truth. This is the ultimate truth. November, please. November. Okay, so on a physical level, well, all the levels, spiritual, mental, uh, physical, like it's changing, it makes you, so the way that you have approached abundance before is going to come from a very um, connected to source place. The way that you have perceived romantic relationships before is going to come from a very source profound place all of this like money health spirituality all all, of, all the areas in your life it's going to be a very very profound month i feel the month of november the month of november 2024 there's a deep connecting to your deepest truth that you've been wanting to do all year and here it is 
like the actual change. And it changes everything. Because once you make that actual connection, that real connection with your deep, deep, truest version of yourself, the highest version of yourself, then it might not mean that you shift relationships. It might not even mean that you're like changing jobs. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's going to be like a real understanding of what this job actually means. It's going to be a real understanding of what this relationship actually means, whether it's friendships, you know, deep understanding, profound shift there for you in the month of November. And then come December, probably due to you making that shift there in November, making the shift every month, every month is leading up to, and not to take away anything from any month, like any month, every month can bring so much beauty and so much transformation. So every month is sort of a result in itself, right? But come December, there's a, there's a connection. I'm going to, I hope that was just a, um, I paused the video there for a bit because I saw that my voice started to not match my mouth. Uh, I hope that was the first time because I haven't really paid attention to it. So I hope that's the first time that, um, that was annoying for you. Okay. Soulmates. So we have soulmates in the month of December and if you're single this might be the month there you where you actually meet the person of your life like a person I mean every person is important to us but because you've done this type of profound work on yourself you're so in alignment with yourself and you so want the truth about like who you truly are like the essence and the core of you is just the same it's the same, it's alignment. And so there's real truth. You have shed away all that is not you. And having a meeting with another when it's this authentic is nothing but extraordinary. So if you're single and you're looking for a partner, this is the type of relationship that that's going to, I'm not going to tell you that it's going to change you forever. It's what it says, like the description of this card It's like, you will be you will be forever changed because you're you've already changed and the change has made you attract this person but it is on the level of like oh my god how i don't even know how how was life before you if you've had children you know that and even if you had animals you know like once the animal is there once the cat is there once the dog is there once the horse is there once the baby is there it's like what was it before you like how how was life when you didn't exist? Like, it's so hard to imagine when they weren't here because it feels like the moment that they're there, it's always been. It's like, it's always been. It's so natural. And, it, and, it's, and it's also so profound. If this is not a romantic partner, if you're already with a partner or you don't want to meet a romantic partnership, this is the month where you're going to meet someone a person is going to come into your life that is going to be so profoundly important. It's a soulmate that's going to like, whether they walk with you forever, whether they walk with you for a season, up to you, up to them, up to the universe. But it is a game changer. It's the type of like, it's such a blessing to your life that this person is entering into your life. And it's such a blessing to them that you're entering into theirs. It's such a shared experience. Okay, can we have clarification for December? I was going to say June just to... <laughs> can we have a clarification for December? Well, it's a, it's a reunion. I was not going to say reunion, so I'm not going to just brush that off. So it might actually be, and if you sort of, then it's not for you, obviously, but for some of you, it's going to be a reunion. And if it's a reunion for like the, this, this earth life, or it might be actually a reunion, like you've lived so many lifetimes before, and it's going to be such a recognizable moment. Like, there you are. 
I've been looking for you all my life. Where have you been? Harmony, bliss, love. Just a beautiful companionship with someone else. Let's leave it at that because whether it's a romantic partnership, a new friendship. I'm not drawn to say that this is a new baby, although it can be like you're bringing a new child into the world and that is a soulmate. It's just such a soulmate. You just have such a special, special bond. It might be the case. It might be for like one or two people because I'm mostly drawn to say that this is, I mean, it's a general read and it's for all the cancers. So it might just be that it's, it's, uh, I just feel like it's more of a grown up meeting of, of like we're matching our minds here, although you can match your mind with a baby. You know what I mean? So December is a, has a beautiful end. It has a beautiful end to 2024 that you're stepping into a gorgeous new relationship of some kind. And it's due to you. It's due to you, Cancer, that you've done such a profound job with yourself all through the months. I'd say just as a, as a, as a coming to a close here, try to let go what doesn't fit you anymore on your path to like try to just be having faith in whatever you're being like guided to just drop from your life and from yourself okay that's what I have for you beautiful cancer um thank you so much for your thumbs up and for your subscriptions it really helps the channel a lot also you can donate to the channel if you want to look down below okay thank you so much happy new year Depending on when you listen to this, happy whatever month you're in. Bye.